Learn how to create stunning thumbnails for your videos using two advanced AI tools. In this video, I'll share my personal workflow for creating my own thumbnails. With these tips, you'll be able to create amazing visuals for your content in no time. So first of all, go to leonardo.ai. If you don't know how to sign up for Leonardo or how to use Leonardo, I have made some videos on this topic. You can check the link in the description. So first of all, we will write a prompt over here of whatever kind of image we want. I want an image of a young woman who have blonde, long hair and uh, who is young and attractive and uh, she's saying wow and pointing her finger towards the text that I will write in my thumbnail so I will add the descriptions according to the kind of thumbnail I want the kind of image I want so I will also add a negative prompt over here that I don't want mutated pictures or weird pictures or blurred or some pictures that is having two faces or two hands so I will write these details in the negative prompt and um, write your prompts properly so it can generate the relevant images now you also have to select the feature model that you want I will click on Select custom model because I want some other model. Click on platform models and click on Dream Shaper V5 if you want some animated kind of images. So just click on generate with this model and uh, it will add this model in your list. Now after writing your prompt and selecting your model, click on generate button and it will generate the images for you. So let's just check out what it will generate for us. So you can see the images are very good and they look so good. You can use these images if you like but I want some other kind of images, a kind of realistic portrait of a woman. So I will add some more details to the prompt and then click on generate. So these images are also good but I want an image in which the model look realistic and also she points her finger towards her right side. So I will change my model, I will select Leonardo Creative and then I will um, generate my images. So let's just check it out if it generates some realistic portraits for me. So here are the images and I really like them so you can select and download the kind of image you like. I will download this one image because I like this one. Also I will try to generate some more images, maybe I can get more better and more relevant images so I will change a little bit prom and add more details to it. Then just click on the generate button and uh, you can see the images are very nice also i forgot one thing that i want an image for my thumbnail so i will change the ratio to 16 by 9 because i want a youtube thumbnail so uh, i will try one last time to generate my images and let's just check it out so here i generated and i love this one image so i will save it to my gallery so next step is to go to canva.com and upload your image over there After uploading your picture, just adjust it to the page, fit it to the screen and then just uh, set your background color. Here I will set the black background because my image is black. So after adjusting your image, just go to text option and add your text book over there and write whatever text you want to add on your thumbnail. Now I will select the font for my text. You have a huge library of fonts here. You can select whatever font you like. So I will select the one that looks more good and professional. After selecting my font, I will adjust my text over here.
now i will change the color of using ai i will just select the text and change its color to white so that it looks more prominent now i will add some effects to my text you can add whatever effect you like here are some effects that you can add on your text you can change colors or you can just add shadows to the text i will add background to my text and i will select the background color i will just select its roundness and i will set a transparency to a little bit less up to 24 and uh, so it can be readable and looks more good then i will adjust my image so it does not overlap my text so you can adjust everything after adjusting my text and my image i will add logos of the two free ai tools that i am using to make my thumbnails so i will add leonardo logo over here and also i will go to elements and search for canva logo and there you will get the logo of canva and then just add it to your thumbnail you can add whatever elements or images you want my video is related to leonardo and canva so i will add the logos of both of them You can also add some stickers and search them in elements like wow or something like that. So you can add according to your choice. I don't want it over here so I will remove it. Here I'm changing my font because I want it to look more professional. So I will select the one I like. So I'm, this one is looking much better than the first one. Now I will adjust it. Here I will search for a plus icon in the elements and uh, I will add it in between the Leonardo and Canva logo so it looks more good and more professional. This is how you can add creativity to your thumbnails and make them look more professional and more attractive. Remember that thumbnail matters a lot because if your thumbnail looks professional and attractive, people click on your video more and more because thumbnail is something that represents your video that tells people that how creative you are and uh, you know first impression is the last impression so make your thumbnail look good and attractive as well so this is how you can make your thumbnails using two free ai tools so after your thumbnail is ready just click on the download button and download your thumbnail so here is the final result of the thumbnail you can see it looks so good do let me know in the comment sections if you liked it or not. Thanks for watching my AI video. You've gained valuable insights. To explore more, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll get regular updates on the latest AI advancements. Don't miss out.